welcome back to our YouTube channel. As you guys can see, I am in my little junky work area. Kayani is at school. And if you guys don't know, I have a business that I do. Um, I have two businesses. I do party events with my sister, um, from within three, and then I have my own personal business called Big Biggest Blessings Boutique, and I make custom birthday outfits for kids or whatever. Um, and I have two or three outfits to get out and I, I've done a two tutorial for y'all, um, a while back, but I haven't did an outfit with jeans in a while. So I thought that I'd come on here and do a quick little tutorial of how I do mine. Now this is how I do mine and other people might do theirs a different way, but this is how I do mine. So these are the shorts. It's a 12 months. This is a teachy witchy. <laughs> and the theme is Cookie Monster. And I'm going to show y'all how I press my denim with using sublimation ink and um, heat bond. So when I used to do these, I used to do um, using iron-on transfer paper. But I don't like the iron-on transfer paper anymore ever since I got a... Uh, a sublimination printer so i just like to sublimate everything so i decided that i was going to try using heat and bond with the sublimation so basically you get the heat and bond you get your denim or whatever you're going to put it on and then you um if you don't sublimate sublimation can only be done on 100 percent polyester for the colors to come out bright and vibrant so I also bought this. It's just fabric. It comes by the yard. So it comes in like a pack. Um, I don't know if I have the pack, but it comes in a pack and you get it from Walmart. It comes in two yards. So basically what I do is since you can't sublimate on denim, I take my images. The theme is Cookie Monster, y'all. So I've already printed out my images here. So I'm going to take my Im images. I'm going to press it here onto this and then i'm gonna press it onto the heat bond and then iron it onto the denim now this is the way that i decided to do my denim outfits other people may do theirs a different way but this is the way i like to do it and i like to cut it out by hand i do have a um, cricket machine but i like to cut it out by hand it's just easier so i thought that i would show you guys how to do that because like i said i've done a two tutorial for my business but i have not done a denim outfit yet so that's what i'm going to be doing today i do have a tutu that i'm going to do later today but i don't know if i'm going to record a video to that i got a little mermaid tutu and i also got a cocoa melon outfit so i got three outfits to get out by this week so and then this one is being shipped um this one was ordered on my etsy site I do have an Etsy shop, so all you guys can, I will put the Etsy description in the, I will put the Etsy, my Etsy link in the description below, and um, you guys can click on it and order up. So this one is being shipped out today, and it's a Cookie Monster theme, and the baby is turning one, like I said. So I got my heat press heating up, and then we're going to get right into this video. Y'all, excuse my mess. This is my little clutter area, my sewing machine, out of my little clutter junk back here. But um, before we get into this video, y'all, it is Vlogmas Day 19. So I thought I'd drop this video for Vlogmas Day 19 because day in the life of the Millers and this is what I'm doing in a day in my life. So before I get right into this video, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so y'all know every time we drop a new video. And we're going to get right into this video i'm gonna show y'all how i do the pants and then i'm gonna do the shirt and then they also got a jacket so and then i'll show y'all the end results um when we finished so these are my little jeans these are teaching size 12 months and then um okay so basically first thing first is you want to take your your fabric so the fabric comes in like a package i don't have a package anymore but there's like a silk a silk side if y'all can see this and then there's like a dull side so i sublimate on the dull side because i don't know why it's just my preference like y'all can do what y'all want to but this is what i do so my scissors. oh all right so i got my scissors so basically i'm going to just cut a piece of this fabric 
so that I can press it onto my shirt. I mean, not my shirt, my fabric. So it's going to be like this. So basically, I'm just going to cut a square of this out. So I'm going to cut my little square. So this is about good here. All right, so y'all, this lasts me for quite some time. Like it, it can last me for like a few outfits because like I said, it's two yards and you're really only using like a little square of it. So I cut out my little piece of fabric. It's not that big. It's a little bit bigger than the paper, but, and I'm going to print on, I mean, yeah, I'm going to press it on the dull side. So this was the silk side. This is the dull side. I'm going to press it on the dull side. So I'm going to press my images onto here and then I'm gonna cut it out and then put it on the shorts and I'm finna show y'all so let's get right into it guys at my heat press and I'm gonna lay the fabric here it's not on the shiny side and then I'm gonna lay the images here just like that I'm gonna put a, put a piece of butcher paper on here and then I'm gonna press it for 60 seconds. All right, y'all, my timer is going off, so I'm gonna lift this. Take off my butcher paper off the top. This is the image when it's pressed on and then So this is how my images come out. Nice and vibrant, but I'm gonna show y'all better. Hold on. All right, y'all, so I have pressed my images. This is how they turn out. So the colors are nice, vibrant, and nice. See, look at that, isn't that cute? Nice, vibrant. So now what I'm going to do is cut these out. Now, if you got a crew cut machine, you could cut these out on a crew cut. I have a crew cut machine, but it's actually called Cricut. Is it called Cricut or crew cut? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, whatever machine is called, I got one. But I don't like to cut it out with that because the machine only allows you to do, um, like I wouldn't be able to fit all of these on the machine. I would probably have to do like maybe four at a time. And because the the space is like, is, is only so big. If, if y'all got a machine, y'all know what I'm talking about. So I like to, I just print them out like this and then I just cut them out by hand. So next thing, what I'm gonna do, so I have a machine, but I just like to cut them out by hand. But now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna cut this down a little bit more and then I'm about to press it with the heat bun and then I'm gonna cut each one of them out individually and then I'm going to put it on the pants. Like, it's real simple, y'all. It's real simple. And this is the way that I found to do it without using, like, the iron-on transfer paper. So I know some people probably use that, and I used to use it. But now that I got a sublimation printer, I just sublimate everything. Y'all know what I'm saying? So what I'm doing is just cutting some of the excess off so that I don't use so much of the heat and bond paper. So I'm just making this smaller. Basically, that's all I'm doing with this. So this is just extra. So now I just got this, this little small patch. So basically now what I'm gonna do is get the heat and bond paper. So this is how the heat and bond paper look. This is a pack, this is a pack that I have from another outfit that's already open, but this is what it looks like, heat and bond. You can find it in the sewing machine, sewing machine section in Walmart. But this is what I have left from another outfit that I did. So basically, you're going to take this paper. And you're going to cut out another little square for however much paper you're going to use. So bam. So this is about how much paper I'm going to have. So I'm going to cut this 
right here and then i'm gonna press this onto the paper let me cut this so this is my heat and bond paper y'all and this is my sublimation paper and like i said i'm gonna put that onto here all right y'all so i got my heat and bond let me lower y'all down a little bit so the heat and bond paper has two sides if y'all can see there's like a texture side it's kind of like rough and then there's like a smooth side which is like the paper so when you transfer your um images your the back this is the back so the back is gonna go onto the texture side and your iron is gonna iron onto like the paper side does that make sense so the this is the back i'm putting the back onto the texture side if y'all can see that so it's gonna be like this hold on hold on y'all hold on technical difficulties we have a technical difficulties so basically it's gonna be like that but i'm gonna iron on this side so y'all flip this down let me lower y'all bring y'all closer so y'all can see y'all can see that all right so so i got my image here texture side is touching the back I got my little mini eye here it's already hot so basically you're just gonna iron this onto that so and you can kind of feel when it um I suppose you could do this on the heat press too but I just find a little mini iron is easier and you don't even have to iron it for a long time and then once you iron it, you're going to peel it, cut it, and put it on your pants. Real simple, y'all. Woo. Disregard that, y'all. Disregard that. So, this is how my images look. Everything is pressed on. And then I'm just going to cut it. All right, y'all. So I got my images. It's, it's, on, it's ironed onto the paper now. And you see how they're so vibrant and bright? I don't feel like the iron-on transfer paper gives you that same feel, same brightness as the sublimination so basically like i said you can now after you did this you could put it on, onto your cricut machine and you could cut out each individual image but i don't want to do that because like i said it i just don't like the way of print you only could do four at a time and it just it's, to me it's just more hassle it's just easier to cut it but that's just me if you don't want to, by all means, do what works best for you. Put yours on the machine and cut it. I'm just going to cut it out. And if y'all um, the images I just googled, Cookie Monster Clip Art, and then I put the images like the images are very easy to get. Basically, I get all of my images from Google. You just Google whatever theme you're doing and then just put clip art and then just go to the images and bam pick what images you want so yeah i'm gonna cut all of these out so this is my first image y'all can see it looks cute right it's a little piece right here let me cut this off looks cute right so then 
So I'm going to cut out all of these and then I'm going to tell y'all what's the next step. So I'm going to cut out all of these. monster images are cut out so yeah once you got all of your images cut out for this heat and bond there is a little um what you you're gonna peel off the paper off the back so y'all can see it peels off and then once it peels off now you got like a little shiny side and then you got your image and basically you're just going to put this where you want it on your outfit and iron it on there. It's really simple, y'all. Um, y'all should really try this one, y'all, if you haven't. If you do um, custom kids clothing, you just peel, you want to peel all of these off. It's really simple to peel them. You just all of your backings off of all of your images and I got all of my images peeled off y'all so now you just want to take your little shorts or whatever denim outfit that you're using you're going to take your shorts let me um, bring y'all closer and lower y'all so y'all can see what I'm doing so got your shorts here right y'all see I'll bring y'all a little closer got your shorts and basically you want to just see wherever you want your images to go like if you want a cookie here all right so let me show y'all I'm gonna put cookie monster I'm gonna put one of the cookie monsters here y'all can see that so you just place it where you want it to go. So I'm gonna put this one here. You just in place everything where you want everything to go. And you just iron it on, y'all. It's really simple. So I got my mini iron again. So look, I'm just gonna take this iron. Hold on, y'all. can see I'm just gonna take this iron on the one so I'm gonna do one at a time so y'all can see so first we put in the little one on because he's turning one cookie one I want to put that wherever you want to place it at on your shorts but I'm gonna put mine's right there and you just take your little mini iron or like I said you probably can use the heat press also but I just like to do it this way and you just gonna iron that sucker right on on now. Bam. Y'all see the number one on there? Cute. Now, let's put him here. You can put these however you want to put them on there. There's no right or wrong way to put it on there. Now, like I said, you don't even have to iron it for that long. Like, as soon as you iron it, it's pressed on. Bam. Y'all see? Cookie Monster and the one. Now, let's see what else I want to put on here. Let's put this guy on here, on this side. Let's put him here. Iron it. Bam. And you don't even have to iron it for that long, y'all. Real simple. Real simple, real cute. Let's take this guy with the cookies and let's put him here. And like I said, it's no right or wrong way. 
however you want to put them on there is your business baby do you baby do you cookie so this is how my shorts are looking so far y'all real cute real cute real cute real cute y'all real cute let's see let me get me some little mini cookies and we're gonna put those here i'm gonna put a, put a mini cookie here Yeah, baby. Let's put him somewhere. Let's put him. Mm, where do I want to put him? I might use some of these because, like I said, she also got a jacket. <laughs> And a shirt, so I'll probably use some of these for the shirt. I'm gonna have to print out more for the jacket though, because I don't got enough. Um, I don't have enough. Images for the jacket, I didn't print enough. So I'm gonna do the same process for the jacket get my images put it on my sublimation fabric cut it out same thing y'all same thing so these is how his shorts looking so far y'all now basically y'all can see he's these shorts i love little small outfits he's so cute so this is how the cookie monster outfit is looking so far y'all and I didn't use iron-on transfer paper. I used sublimation paper, sublimation ink. So I think that's it for the shorts. I don't know. I might go, but I don't want to overcrowd it because now I'm finna go in and add the paint splatter to it. And yeah, that's about to be it, y'all. It's a little fabric right here. Cut this off. I don't want to overcrowd it with the rest of these because, yeah, you don't want to make it too overcrowded. If I add these, it's just going to be like too much. So I'll probably add these to the jacket. So, yeah, I'm going to add those to the jacket. And I'm going to put paint splatter on the pants. Y'all, so that is my video today for Vlogmas Day 19. I just wanted to show y'all how to do sublimination with heat and bond paper on denim fabric um yeah so again this is what my little shorts look like cookie monster shorts they're real cute i will insert a clip at the end of the full outfit because again i gotta do the jacket and i gotta do the shirt and i gotta finish my paint splatter i'm gonna add blue paint splatter too so yeah i gotta finish my paint splatter but yeah this is how my this is how you sublimate on denim real cute y'all real cute if you guys like these videos and you want me to do more videos, comment that down below. If you have any questions, comment those down below. And yeah, that's it for our video, guys, today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you'll know every time we drop a new video. And we'll see y'all in the next video, guys. We love you. We are out.